Welcome back to the Jazz Pursuits. In this video, we're going to look at different chord types and how to voice them on the piano. Before we get into it, make sure you like and subscribe below to stay up to date with new content and releases. Enjoy! In this video, we're going to concentrate on major 7 chords, dominant 7 chords and minor 7 chords, as well as half diminished and diminished chords. These are the fundamental chord types that a lot of jazz is built upon and understanding them fully will help fast track your own progress and development. First, let's start with major 7 chords. A major 7 chord is made by a major triad, the root 3rd and 5th of the chord, plus the major 7. Let's see what that would look like in the key of C major. Here's our C major scale. First, we need our major triad the first, third and fifth note from the scale. We can see that this is C, E and G. Now on top of this, we need the seventh note from the scale, which we can see is B. This creates our C major seven chord. C is the root, E is the third, G is the fifth and B is the seventh. An easy way to think about major seven chords is that everything in them is major, hence the name major seven. Now let's try it out in a different key. How about A major? Here's our A major scale, which has an F sharp, C sharp and G sharp. First, we need the triad, the root third and fifth, which we can see is A, C sharp and E. Then we need our seventh, which we can see is G sharp. Therefore, our A major seven chord consists of a the root, C sharp the third, E the fifth, and G sharp the seventh. That's major sevens done with. Now let's take a look at dominant sevens. A dominant seventh is made by a major triad, the one three five of the major scale, plus a flattened or minor seventh. In this case, minor simply means smaller. Let's work out a C dominant seventh, or as it's more commonly known, a C seven chord. Here's our C major scale again. First, we need our major triad, the 1, 3 and 5, which we can see is C, E and G. Then, we need to find out our major 7th and flatten it to turn it into our minor 7th. As we can see, the major 7 is B and then we flatten it to turn it into our minor 7th, making it B flat. Therefore, our C7 chord is made up of C the root, E the third, G the fifth, and B flat the minor seventh. Now, let's try it in a different key. How about E flat? Here's our E flat major scale, which has a B flat, E flat, and A flat in it. First, we need our major triad, the root third and fifth, which we can see is E flat, G, and B flat. Now, we need to find our major 7th and flatten it. As we can see, the major 7 is D, and then we flatten this to turn it into our minor 7, D flat. So our E flat 7 chord consists of E flat the root, G the third, B flat the fifth, and D flat the minor 7th. Whilst we're here, it's worth saying that a dominant chord is a chord of motion and wants to be resolved whereas our major 7 chord was more settled. This gives us an idea of what the function of these chords will be. Now, let's move on to minor 7 chords. A minor 7 chord is made using a minor triad, the 1, flattened 3rd and 5th from our major scale, plus a minor 7th. Let's take a look and work out a C minor 7 chord. Here's our C major scale. And first, we need to find our minor triad, the 1, flattened 3rd and 5th. This is C, E flat and G. Remember, minor simply means smaller, so by flattening our major 3rd E, we're making the distance between the root and 3rd smaller, turning our triad minor. Next, we need our minor 7th, so we find our major 7th and flatten it. As you can see, the major 7th is B. So we flatten this to make our minor 7th B flat. Therefore, 
our C minor 7 chord is made up of C, the root, E flat, the minor 3rd, G, the 5th, and B flat, the minor 7th. Now, let's try it in a different key. How about F? Here's our F major scale, which has a B flat in it. To make our F minor 7 chord, we need to first find the minor triad, the root, flat and third and fifth. As we can see, this is F, A flat, because we flatten the major third A to get a minor third A flat, and C. Now, we need to find the major seventh and flatten it to get our minor seventh. As we can see, the major seventh is E, so we flatten this to turn it into our minor seventh, E flat. Therefore, our F minor 7 chord consists of the root F, minor 3rd A flat, 5th C, and minor 7th E flat. So that's major 7s, dominant 7s, and minor 7s done. Before we move on to diminished and half diminished chords, here's a little exercise using these three fundamental chord types. We're going to play each chord type one after another in one key, before then moving up a fifth round the cycle of fifths to the next key, where we play the three chords again, and so on. Let's start in F. For now, the chords always move from major 7 to dominant 7 to minor 7. So we're going to start by moving from F major 7 to F dominant 7 to F minor 7. Then we jump up a fifth to our next key. Let's give it a go. Now we're familiar with major 7s, dominant 7s and minor 7s, let's take a look at half diminished and diminished chords. A half diminished, or as it's also known a minor 7 flat 5 chord, is made up of the root, flattened 3rd, flattened 5th and flattened 7th. Let's work through an example and build a C half diminished chord. Here's our C major scale again. First, we need the root C. Then we need to flatten our third E to an E flat. Then we need to flatten our fifth G to a G flat. And finally, flatten our seventh B to a B flat, making our C half diminished chord. Minor seven flat five is a really logical way to think about this chord, as the only difference between a half diminished chord and a minor seven chord is that we've flattened the fifth. To make a diminished chord from a half diminished chord, we just need to flatten the 7th again, turning it into a double flattened 7th, also known as a diminished 7th. So in our example in C, the root stays the same C, 
the flattened third stays the same E flat, the flattened fifth stays the same G flat, but we flatten the flattened seventh B flat again to an A, turning it into our diminished seventh and creating our C diminished chord. A diminished chord is just a collection of minor thirds stacked on top of each other. There's a minor third between C and E flat, a minor third between E flat and G flat, a minor third between G flat and A, and another minor third between A and C. Now let's work out another half diminished and diminished chord in a different key. How about G? Here's our G major scale, which has an F sharp in it. To make our half diminished or minor 7 flat 5 chord, we need the root, flattened third, flattened fifth, and flattened seventh. So this will be G, the root, we flatten the third B to a B flat, flatten the fifth D to a D flat, and flatten the seventh F sharp to an F, creating our G half diminished chord. Now, if we wanted to turn this into a fully diminished chord, we just need to flatten the seventh again. The root G stays the same, the flattened third B flat stays the same, the flattened fifth D flat stays the same, but the flattened seventh F gets flattened again, making it E, creating our G diminished chord. Again, like before, it's a stack of minor thirds. There's a minor third between G and B flat, a minor third between B flat and D flat, a minor third between D flat and E, and another minor third between E and G. Before we finish, let's have a quick overview of the different chord types we've covered. First, we have a major 7 chord, which is made by a major triad and a major 7th. The symbol for this chord is often a triangle. Next, we have a dominant 7 chord, which is made by a major triad and a flattened or minor 7th. Next is a minor 7 chord, which is made by a minor triad, the root, flattened or minor 3rd and the 5th, plus a minor or flattened 7th. The symbol for this is often a minus sign. Then we have a half diminished chord, also known as a minor 7 flat 5 chord, which is made of the root, flattened 3rd, flattened 5th and flattened 7th. The symbol for this is often a circle with a line through it. And finally, a diminished chord is made of the root, flattened third, flattened fifth, and doubly flattened seventh, creating a stack of minor third intervals. The symbol for this chord is just a circle. That's all from me. I'd now recommend checking out the Understanding Major 251s video. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe below, and leave any questions you may have in the comments section. Happy practicing!